Hello, I'm Dutch, and you're by a road, so you're going to be hearing a lot of traffic and engines, stuff like that. But obviously, since you see me, you know I'm not here to talk about how buying a lottery ticket is not a good retirement plan. No, I'm here to talk about the 2000, that's the year model, so it's like four or five years from being a classic. Um, E350 Eco Line, that's what the E on the E350 stands for, one ton van. And this thing can sit. 15 people. So, you can sit your whole mom's bunko group. Okay, with these tires, these are the stock rims, stock hub caps, everything. But tires are not. They're like, these are brand new. But these things, these Mexicano tires, but they're so big. If they're the biggest tires you can fit on this thing without lifting the car. So, whenever you turn it, it's gonna rub against that, the, the, the edge of this bumper. Which is a nice bumper because it's chrome. And I really like this big hole right here. And you can see two dots. You might not be able to see it. I'm not sure. But they're spo it's supposed to hold the license plate here. Usually we just put the license plate on a few suction cups and put it right there inside the windshield. But no. But the grill is stock, as you can see by the chips paint on it. But you can see the, um, the right, you can see that, um, radiator or intercooler or whatever that thing is and then you have these headlights which these ones are out of line so one's like facing on the side of the road but you can't see that from the outside which is a good thing and then you had this which is a nice touch but you have this not you had this cool pinstripe which we added but you see this you see this little thing above it another little line that will stop that came with that and you have a nice F-O-R-D badge. Hmm. And then, well, we added this NASA sticker to make it look like it was a na like an astronaut transport van. It's like the, from the little, from their um, retirement home to the rocket launch pad. You get it. So, and you have this old-fashioned mirror, which is a little bit cracked. Um, all black. It's pretty cool. But you have these huge latches, like really big ones heavy because it's a heavy duty van this thing can pull like six boats all at once this thing's big it's huge and that roof rack we always thought it was a nice touch because well you can put your surfboard on top of it and that's one reason we go camping on it which i'll show you you know how that how that works but this thing the lines on this car are great you can see how it was carefully designed i'm gonna say you're gonna see a lot of splotches on the side of the car i'm gonna be real straight with you it used to be a preschool van. Just cut us some slack. Because you could get a new van for like 50 or maybe 60 grand. However, we got this thing for 2500 So you could be saving ten, tens of thousands of dollars, which is a pretty big score if you ask me. And you have a keyhole, which you cannot unlock. There's no little fancy schmancy button. And there still is not on the new vans which is pretty cool. And you have these, um, you have these little things that can open and out. This side door right here broke the handle, so you have to do this. Reach in, you have to pop that sucker right open. But when you do that, you have these heavy duty latches, which you can push out. And then you, when, you sh when it's outside, you see that, and they open, they let some ventilation in. And then when you want to shut it, you suck it in, you just push it down. And it's the loudest lock you've ever heard. Natural. Like I said, you can fit your whole mom's or grandmother's bunko group in here. And that door's shutting, which we don't want. And these things go in and out. So you can just put it. And these things look like classical bench seats. And if you don't know what a bench seat's, then go back to kindergarten. And then you have this little thing which you can um, swing on for your first grader. And then you have these huge seat belts that reach so far. I mean, and these windows are tinted so much. I mean, you don't want to see what goes on in there, you know what I mean? But um, the floor, it's stock. Most of all, this is stock. Um, but you're going to see some huge touches in the middle. That exhaust pipe puts out so much exhaust, it's like secondhand smoke in times three. And you have the coolest plate in the world. Now, the E350 badge is supposed to be under this American flag. 
but nope, we took it off. Obviously. And then you have finally something modern. Modern day, it's not a classic part, you can just lock it from that. And you have a really nice stereo set. It can you can choose how much bass and treble you have. Which is pretty cool. And you can almost stand in here for once. All these latches, you might be wanting to stick it out of the ground. Well, right now you can only seat like one, two, three, um, like seven, eight people right now. But that's because two rows of seats are gone. These are the latches for a row of seat would be attached. We just took them out. But you could take the seats in and out, which is pretty cool. You can't see it, but you can see like we're all a bunch of first graders got a crayon and started just scribbling on the walls. It's pretty funny. Then you have a seat belt, which can go out really far, which we don't need. And then, um, oh, um, you can't, I don't know if you can see it or not, but you really can't, because it's hard to see. But most of the, you know how like vents to an air to the car can like open up, the you can like close them. Well, these don't even have the clothes or things. They're gone, so it's just a big hole in the roof. You can stick your foot in. It's not a bad thing. And you have a really old bumper. It's heavy duty, and it's really in this car. We think it got rear-ended before we bought it. That's why it was like a bunch of Bondo. And if you don't know what Bondo is, go back to kindergarten. And then you, you can see it's all crumpled up. And this thing has gotten stuck so much You'd think it's a four-wheel drive off-roader made for the beach. You'd be quite wrong because it's a rear-wheel drive and the front tires are just there. It's like paying someone to do a job and you're just watching and bragging to them. And then you have the, where the bowl was supposed to go to pull a trailer. But you can see where a person put their latch on to pull us out and they bent our bumper somehow. It's weird because you're thinking, where's the little gas cap? Well, it's in the middle for some reason, but because it's in the middle, you know, I I'm sure you, most of you have heard the term gas guzzlers, which was the term used on SUVs. This thing guzzles gas so badly, I mean, you can probably drain a 500 mile tank faster than you could on a, as on a normal SUV if you had the same amount of gas in it, perpetually. Uh, Basically, and then the interior. Um, there's some actually really cool parts with this thing. So, you have a big old pouch looking like a kangaroo over there. And then you have um, all these normal things you would see. Power locks. But the thing is it has power windows, which is really good because um, um, some new vans today have like one of those cranks, which you would find, which what a grandpa would say. When I was your age, we had latches on our windows. Yeah, we know. But you have this thing that says remove um, before flight, and you have to turn on the headlights by pulling it. And then it makes a beep. And it still makes a beep. And then it stops. And then you have a horn. Very old fashioned, which probably annoyed like six neighbors just now. Um, like I said, this thing's a V10, so from when you pop that hood. Now you may be thinking, how are you supposed to cram a V10 in a hood that's that small? Well, there's this thing called a doghouse. I don't know what to call it. It was this thing bulging out like a pregnant lady, bulging out, um, and that's and the engines in that. So and then again, you have a lot of cargo in there, which is really nice. Stereo set, um, charger, thingamabobby, and you have to shift the gear like old fashioned, but like most GMC Yukons have that these days. And then you have money, which I'm sure most of you ha wish you had. And then you um, have hand sanitizer, which is common these days in 2021, because we have this nice virus that's very nice cool. And then you have a stereo set. I know you guys can't, you might, it might be really hard to see it, but you can, you can figure out your base and trouble. Now I can't start this because of how loud it is and it sounds annoying and it's probably the last car you're gonna hear if I started on the channel ever so I'm just not gonna start it but you can see little green letters and um, most you and you can't like rip it like this you can't do that you have to do it slow because they have these little things called contacts so 
You have a gauge, speed gauge, that can only go to about 100. So this thing's not the fastest thing, but it's pretty fast. I mean, it could probably, it could probably um, outrun your drunk uncle's truck. Anyway, that's my review on the 2000 Ecoline 350, one ton, 15 passenger, longest name in the world I know. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed it. You better subscribe and comment or, you know, like or whatever, whatever YouTube does. So, um, yeah, that's it.